I'm always moved in movies, most probably by when people are kind to each other or when people extend themselves beyond what is required of them. I guess that's what heroism is. So why does Seppala take his 12-year-old dog that he loves and take this very dangerous journey? He sees a need. He sees the thing that he loves to do can maybe help other people. And it's really that simple, even though it may put him in danger and put the thing he loves in danger. So that's a very rich mix. The sepala that you see at the very beginning, well, it cuts between flashbacks and, and, and the serum run. So there's, there's always a tension uh, because the serum run was very treacherous because of weather, because it was such an and endurance, it was such a miraculous thing for them to travel as far as they did. Um, and that's intercut with flashbacks. Flashbacks of when Togo was smaller and things were very different. And also, Leonard Seppala was a very different person because we see him really, he's very pragmatic, stoic. He, he likes the dogs very much. He takes care of them, but he's very connected to function. And only about, he only thinks about efficiency and what works, basically. And you see him take this dog that he basically he has no use for, and he becomes very important to him. And in fact, um, he changes his mind about uh, this dog, and, and that's the development of that relationship. We got really lucky with Jillian Nicholson. She's, she's really great. Um, and I love playing the scenes with her. Uh, Constance, on one hand, is the classic kind of frontier wife. But she also, she's as strong as Seppala, if not stronger. Because she understands the things he understands, but also has a certain sensitivity that he doesn't quite have in his work. He's very pragmatic. So in some ways, at the beginning, you see him quite quite closed, quite laconic, and she's much more perceptive toward the animals. For example, she anticipates that Togo should not be written off so quickly, and it's really ultimately her that made uh, uh, Seppala, in our story, be patient with Togo and allowed him to, um, to flower. There's a lot of sequences, action sequences, where I'm mushing, I'm driving this dog sled. And both in winter and in summertime, because Seppala trained his dogs off-season, which nobody else did. He built a cart so they could pull, so they could stay in good shape, basically. So I had to learn those things. I had to learn how to, uh, of course, deal with the dogs, hook them up, direct them get a sense for them, know what they responded to, know when they needed water, uh, learn about their uh, body temperature, learn when they were well, learn when they had to rest, those sorts of things.